Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Home of the Brave beta mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Mucklover, and as you can see, that's a beautiful second American Republic, and somehow, the United States of America was released from Canada. So, I'm not sure what happened there, but the USA is supporting Dominion of Canada through a loan lease. Regardless, they're still led by MacArthur, and I have a good feeling that maybe we should probably go ahead and just justify on him and take him out, but make sure we get the claim state cast his belly on him anyway. So... American Legion appointment. With the end of the Civil War, comes a vacancy in the ever-important position of the American Legion's national commander. This last title holder, Smedley Butler, had foolishly sided with the syndicalists, who have ever taken this position will symbolically represent the veterans of the U.S. military and society, and thus their choice is important. A common name floated up as General George Mosley, though his alliance with the national corporatists makes him somewhat controversial among others. Of course, a more popular choice is George Patton himself, despite not being terribly diplomatic. Some NDWL members dispute both of these choices and claim that, our, that their man, Wycliffe Draper, has earned the position. Who shall, who shall we appoint? Pat, I like Patton. I think Mosley, or Van Horn Mosley would be cool, but we also have Wycliffe Draper. And because of the way we're already going, I guess technically we could, there is a potential we could go back here, but we have no elections, we're already national populists. We might as well keep going down this one route that we're already going, right? So, last time we finished off the war, and what do we have here? Medium tanks? Yes, we would like to make some medium tanks. That would be very nice, actually. If that's the case, go five. Lower this by five. And we got to make sure we have all enough of everything for everybody. So, got enough carrier fires, some carrier planes. Even though we have no carriers, we do have two ships here training the entire time. And we're currently trying to finish up our focus doing rebuilding the spirit. And there goes the collapse of the Reich's Pact. Rebuilding the country is going to take quite a long time. That's all right. We got some lemon honey hibiscus tea here from Hawaii to keep us nice and. My apologies about that sound. I oh, my apologies. Oof. God dang Kaiserreich. Up oh, and the game is going to lag so hard because apparently the Reich's Pact has collapsed, as you can tell. If you'd like to read about it, you probably don't even need to pause the game to even read it. But no problem. Actually, because we're um, national. We're national populists. We might just ally or find a way to make agreements with the Russian Vaz, of all things. Oh my goodness, come on game. Come on, Kaiserreich. You're breaking my heart. But anyways, this is a good time to address a couple comments. First of all, someone recommends we play as the Western Command Center. Yes. Um, eventually, I would like to play as all the factions in the... Holy crap. In the Western Command Center. Eventually, someday. We probably will. So, there's that. However, someone did say that they don't have any sort of like post... World War II or post World War II, post Second American uh, Civil War content, so they probably just get reabsorbed by the United States of America, which makes sense. Wow, wow, that is disgusting, and we're going to experience some more lag as more countries are being popped out. The Ottoman Empire is really not doing well against the Cairo Pact now. Wow, that is not good for them either. Iran is doing a great job against the Ottomans. That is sad. Let's see. Yeah, I already said there's no content after the American Civil War for the Western Command Center. Uh, someone said there's a very climactic end of the war with us fighting in New York City. Absolutely. I guess I'll go play a Serbian Kaiserreich someday. I don't think I have yet. And reform. That's a big Ukraine. Oh, there goes the Republic of Austria. Let's see. So, yep, yeah, you gotta definitely have a, it was a definitely climatic end of the war there. Let's see. To be have the end, Civil War end, basically, in New York City. Now, this is not bad. I like this. I like how it's extended. Nice. We could do some more propaganda, but I want to save some political power first. There goes Poland. The poor Poles have died. Oh, poor people. All right, and next what? And someone did recommend an intelligence agency name already, which, <clears throat> with the route that we're going, made a lot of sense. So, we'll, we'll, we'll look at that very, very soon, but... And also the reason why we're making so many tanks... Light tanks is because I want to throw them on my divisions. So give all of our divisions a little bit of piercing. They'll cost a little bit of fuel, but since we're America, I think we'll be okay. We've replaced a lot of these guys. We're making a lot of 40 combat divisions. I actually deleted a lot of the militia divisions. I wasn't sure if the game was going to delete the militia divisions that spawn up that you can spawn, you know, from every state. So I figured, you know what, just in case, I'm going to delete them. That's why our army's looking pretty, pretty weak here. But they're all 40 combat, so I'm totally okay with that. The Republican, Italian Republic is gone. And, well, honestly... With all these guys, actually, what's wrong with you guys? Custer, do I need a division to come with? No, 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 there you go. Uh, I'm actually going to split you guys up, actually. Jeb, I appreciate what work you've done, but oh well. Duffon Brace, half you guys go right there. And Amon, well, frankly, you're going to be leading motorized divisions, so there you go. 
And now Patton's leading one general with one motorized division. Which should be 40 combo with, so it's not too bad. And we're still trying to make some outdated South Carolina class dreadnoughts. They're only outclass just because of what I've put on them. Capital of America with the Civil War over. The question of what should be the capital of the new America has been brought up. Of the many cities within the country, four are the most promising. Which city will be chosen as a new capital? D.C., Atlanta, Charleston, St. Louis, Richmond. Well, we are based in the south, and D.C. is quite a swamp. We're still technically the Republic, though. Who's capital to Black South Carolina? Wait, what? Black South. South Carolina, but we have Black South. Okay, then. Our capital currently is Atlanta still. Hmm. I don't want to do DC again just because we have different options now. And we don't always get these options. And DC, I almost leave for capitals always. Even though I do like the idea of DC not being a state and then not having too much power because it's not a state. Well, Atlanta served us pretty darn well. We can always get St. Louis later. Charleston is quite different. But if I ever plays the Black Republic or Black Belt Republic, whatever, we'll probably do Charleston. Richmond would be nice. Especially if we're the Confederacy. Uh, Atlanta served us very well. Georgia Mountains. Ooh. I'm thinking either Richmond right now or, or Atlanta. Hmm... Mm, Atlanta served us very well. Let's just choose Atlanta. That's fine with me. If it served us well so far, it'll probably serve us well into the future. That's my reasoning. Could be wrong. But it is what it is. Improved cruiser hulls. This is a heavy cruiser, if I, if I remember correctly. Actually, we have two cruisers, huh? Yeah, that's a capital ship. And this is also a capital ship. Oh, that's uh, Northampton class, Pensacola class. We need more research slots. Improved cruiser... Um, Veltkrieg cruiser. I'm not really sure which one's which one's better. I'm gonna go the higher number one though. So, and here's the operations aim: the clandestine operation service with a. Uh, <clears throat> as someone recommended, we put a K here as well. So, just saying, that's what someone recommended, and I follow through with, on some recommendations. So. I thought it was a little appropriate, just for the way we're going. Back on the world stage would not be bad. More political power. Fortress America. Our Western Brethren. Oh, we can't do... We can get Yaki as a current leader? Oh, my goodness. Well, we can join the Entente that way. Huh. Training exercises. Look to the Reich's Pack. Or Reich's Adler. Adler. Well, we can't join them since it's already gone. Press for Greenland. Oh, I love that idea. Aid Middle Africa or ambitions of the state. We'll probably have to go this way. National populism. Leader, lead the Boers. Ooh, manifest. Ooh, manifest destiny. I like that idea. Pacific Pact. Non aggression pact with the Japanese. Quebec issue. Consolidate southern holdings. The eagle spreads its wings. Oh, my goodness. Just destiny of the Anglo world. Now that sounds like a lot of fun. Regardless, we're still rebuilding the country. We've got the clan oath. Um, no nothing act. Well, I want to do some counterterrorism because we want to hurt everyone that hurts us. We will hit the terrorists wherever they may be by organization, organizing the state's bureaus of information and national bureau of information, and focus on hunting the terrorists throughout this nation. Cool. The Lord. Oh. Oh, clan victory, huh? The Covenant. I have no idea which way we're going to go with that. Yeah, I got to play as actual Murray someday. That'd be a lot of fun. Control the Boy Scouts. All right. Yeah, there's so many options for us to do in this. Seems like a lot of fun. After this one, begin reconstruction. I like the idea. Loosen regulations. I like that as well. Actually, I really like this one. The building grants is okay. Corporate patriotism. It's not bad. Public works administration. Not bad, not bad. Reconstruction is over. I definitely need another research slot, though. Oh, my goodness. Well, we're doing well there. Since we got you guys, I'm going to convert you guys to an actual light cruiser template. We still have no... Oh, we got sonars. Let's go and use that. Fire control, that's fine. Anti-air 1, whatever. Uh, rapid fire guns. Escort cruisers. Uh, throw this on there. Throw some better secondary batteries. Throw some more anti-air on there as well. There you go. It's not great, but it'll suffice for what we need. 
There you go. Light ships, go and do that. I'd rather make more light cruisers than destroyers because light cruisers are more costly to build than anything else, really, in terms of between them and destroyers. So, Wow, we need a lot more artillery. Fall of Lisbon, not bad. 50 pieces of artillery. We got plenty of trucks. We can do that for now. Uh, we keep that mine on there for now. Eventually, we want more tactical bombers, more fighters, you know, the good stuff. In the meantime, as you can see, we're doing some intelligence stuff as well. Army 6, not looking too bad. Oh, yeah, all these guys over here. Yeah, you gotta use a lot of planes for this. Just scrap them. I'm gonna rebuild them. It, it looks like a mess, so. Close air support service faithfully, but we're not gonna be using the rest of it in this campaign, which is fine. And strategic bombers. Naval bombers would be nice as well. Naval bombers. Na There's a lot of naval bombers. Transport planes, too. Interwar bombers. Please give me those. Thank you. Keep improving our guys. Portable radios. Thank you. Duplicate. And then boom, boom. Duplicate. Have you all train, and then I'll split them off, and they can go to different places where they have to be. And you all... Thank you for playing. Very good. Um, actually, duplicate you as well, and train. Duplicate you two, actually, as well, because I will have you... And then you. Russian state declared war in Romania. Well, good luck, guys. I'll have him transfer somewhere else because I want to fill it out a lot of planes. Lots and lots of planes. All right, you're looking good already. Keep keep doing pilot exercises. Even though we have a ton of air XP already, I don't really care. It's all right with me. Researchers come along. We need some better engineers. After counterterrorism, begin reconstruction would be nice. Punish the corrupt and treacherous. Reconciliation. Portuguese empire is gone now. Well, that's not good for them. Oh, something else happened. It goes to Brazil. Syndicalists are doing very, very well. Corporate patriotism. I would like to begin reconstruction, but let's get one of these done first. German government exile declare one in Liberia. Well, corporate patriotism. If corporations are to be allowed a part of the nation, then let them be patriotic. We'll coordinate with corporate leaders to invest in the rebuilding of the nation and enact protectionism to keep state-approved corporations relevant to defense and the economy to more easily create public works projects. Oh, there's some lag going on, too. I didn't realize that. Cool. So we've got about a week left. I'm really considering just going to war with America now. That might put us at war with the Entente. But I think we can probably take him. We did beat MacArthur earlier, and he did escape to New England for some god-unknown re reason, so... Oh, they joined the Entente, huh? Yeah, this could prove that we end up going to war with the Entente as well. If they join. Which, I don't know why they would, but we can reclaim Alaska. We're going to ask for Alaska. Hopefully that doesn't get us into there, let's see, or gets into any trouble with them. Hey, Alaska rejoins. Return the territory of Alaska back to the Second American Republic. God bless Alaska and America. Corporate patriotism, don't mind if we do, because I want to lower the debuff. The political aftermath is god-awful for us. Oof. And the economic aftermath is really bad as well. Gotta love the debuff. Man, I'm glad we built up a lot of industry around here. God bless the South. Oof. 41. Let's grab some more construction. We could grab more output, but we're doing actually pretty well on output right now. Planes looking all right. Looking all right. Not too bad. Hmm. Can I join the Moscow Accords? I think it'd be fun. Third Great Migration. Those thousands of African Americans that left America before the Civil War being joined by hundreds of thousands more fleeing white league or terror. Groups like the International Labor Defense and the NAACP are now working together with the Red Cross to evacuate masses of people struggling to remain free. To the White Defense League and their leaders, this plays into a long-standing fear of a united front against the rule. At the same time, the fewer the dissidents internally, the safer loyalists can sleep. The question is, what shall we do? Let, shall we let them leave or allow them to keep them here? Expelling toxins? Wow. Quick, stop them. What? Well, isn't... Why would we keep them here if we don't like them? That's not just... You know, if they want to freely go, you know, I guess... For the direction that this campaign is apparently has gone with under Mr. Simmons here, if they want to go, just, you know, let them be peaceful and go. Let them have peace. Moscow Court, I mean, the Vaz, I mean, we're, we're kind of buddy buddies. You, me, and Mr. Dudorino. Alright, so we go to war with these guys. I, I, I'm not sure if anyone's going to get involved. But we should win this pretty gosh darn easily, especially if our gods are 40 combo with at this point. Like, China wants to... I need to play as China again sometime. I played as left KMT before, and that was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with that campaign. I should play China again sometime. I really should. I need to play more Kaiserreich. Just period. 
All right, so so far we've lost 100, 200 guys, which is a lot of dead New Englanders. New England, why do you, why do you just abandon like everyone else? You think you're great, Aku Boston? Oh, yeah, hopefully I'll go back to Boston soon too. Uh, but <sighs> Boston, Boston, Boston. You didn't learn the first time, huh? We follow Boston with Boston on our hands. New England is secured. Bangor, all right. Actually, how many divisions do they have? Seven. They lost 8,000 manpower, or men, versus our 500. MacArthur should have never left or let Murrah leave the White House. What a shame. Oh, this is good. The Golden Cross Division, wing to, wing to victory. Uh, oh, and the Chinese showed up to help us out. You know it's weird when China sent volunteers to us. Now this. Oh, sure, you want to come on in? Sage one click. What is China up to right now? Actually, that's a good question to ask. Oh, Canada, 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 Canada. We do want Hawaii back too, probably. Well, there's. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Wait, these guys came back. The National Pacification Army, League of East Chinese. I'm. What the heck? All right. That'd be cool if they could reunify peacefully. Actually, they're all allied together, so that's kind of cool. Mongolia is looking pretty thick. Uh, where's my? Guy, I forget his name. What's this guy? Ooh, the 14th Dalai Lama? Huh. He's looking kind of like a grumpy kid. But, uh, what was the guy's name? Ungern Stromberg? Or whatever that was, the guy's name? What happened to him? Why is he not leading anymore? Rise of speakeasies. Despite the overwhelming wave of approval prohibition received within the loyal Christian community, there's some with reservations. In the cities up and high in the mountains, illegal alcohol production has been reported by our agents. The de demon drink is being produced by these moral traders and transported overnight to underground bars of the cross nation. We must stop this affront against our values and catch the deviants responsible. Alcoholism, alcoholism has got to be stamped out. Mm. After that, we're going to begin reconstruction. Civil war has blasted our country to pieces. Large parts of the rural country are not but mud and ashes, while countless cities have been reduced to smoldering rubble. We shall set to work developing new housing and infrastructure as soon as possible. And businesses. We want businesses. We want as many small businesses as possible, right? Now yeah, we should have that many more days for this. Oh, a little bit of lag. And then again, it's Kaiser, what do you expect? And then again, it's Hoi 4, what do you expect? Uh, begin reconstruction. The lore, huh? Walkie talkies. That one was always okay. It wasn't really ever that great. It's not bad. It's not bad, but eh. Nah. Very, very good. Nice. That's looking better. 10% more consumer goods. Nice. Keep building up. Build, build, build. So, do we get any decisions regarding the Northeast? Because we literally just took out MacArthur again. We should get something against him, right? Red Guard cells. The McNarney plan was great. I love artillery, man. So much artillery is so good for the love. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, Anti-tank is nice. You know what? I don't mind making a few more of these guys. Not too many more, but a few more. Especially since we don't have tanks yet. Uh, let's duplicate this. Uh, I did duplicate. There we go. I'll call this tanks. Because we really got to start thinking about using our army XP. Oh, okay, goodbye, Tucky. I'm doing this just because we gotta get ready to throw on some medium tanks here, right? That's a bit too much motorized for me. Ooh, M7s, huh? Armor, medium tanks. We're not using heavy tanks. What's the last time I actually use heavy tanks? That's a good question to ask. More armor is nice. Let's see. Let's go over here. Let's grab some more output. Yeah, we could. We're gonna make some outdated tanks, but let's get some more output first. That's it's always good to get more output. And does that give us a recruitable population factor? I don't know. I don't remember. I played too much. Old World Blues to remember too many things anymore. Alright. Do two at a time, just in case we get an event that ruins all of what we're doing. Remove you, and then bingo, bongo, dongaringo. There you go, not bad. That is not great. That's actually not good on organization. That's actually really not good on organization. Then again, I suppose our land auction doesn't really care for that much organization for these types of tanks. 15.5 is usually what I do for these tanks. But, oh man, that's really not good. The armor's not bad, but level 1 tanks, woof. Better light tanks, nice. You can probably go down to 3 then for now. Time of research, not bad, 1940 stuff. We could be developing a better navy. 
Yeah, I think it's time for us to really develop more of a navy. Which naval doctrine are we going down? Well, we do have nothing. I do want to get carriers eventually. We're focusing mostly on dreadnoughts, though. Oh, yeah, it's easier to pop out carrier holes. Well, let's get a carrier hole first because it's easier to pop out than anything else. Because if you look at this, the production cost, eight thousand versus eighteen thousand, you can make a carrier in less than half the time than. A dreadnought. And we're already making dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts, these dreadnoughts, like, the dreadnoughts you start with are good for the rest of the game, in my opinion. As long as you get the naval docking stuff done. And you might have a carrier or two to help support the, the efforts, the battle efforts. So, really not too concerned about it too much. Got some construction for Let's go and grab some more cap already. Good. Build, build, build. So that's how we got a lot more manpower back to, by just leading a lot of the militia divisions, which I should have just converted. But, like I said, I didn't know how much that would affect us. So, there you go. Don't even want to bother with it. So, there you go. There you go. Um, yeah, we kept upgrades on medium, too. We don't mind getting some of the latest stuff, so. Over here. Air Force Department. Uh, we're putting down a lot of resistance in areas. Well, we shouldn't have any more resistance, period. Uh, Canada, keep, keep it on Canada. Why not? You never know what them Canadians, those Canucks are up to. Oh, and we have you guys, too. Build that up. Eventually, we're going to build that up as well. We're going to need a lot of air bases on the Canadian border, if you catch my drift. we got to be purifying North America. So, oh, we're doing South for Mexico? Well, good. We did Canada, we did Mexico. Oh, you guys too, why not, why not? Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica's free, huh? There you go. Begin reconstruction, public works administration, the ability to generate electricity, transport water, and ensure safe and efficient travel was lost during the Civil War, but the public works administration will fix all that. It's a fund that will ensure contractors pay their employees fairly. And that's a good thing to pay them fairly. Pay them what they're worth. Oh, God, Brazil split into several different portions. That's not cool. Oh, my goodness. I don't like that at all. Oh, do we have actually a... What do we have resistance? Oh, over here? Actually. Well, that's okay. So then I can have one of you guys doing this then. Oh, do we not get the options? Oh, we can rebuild this. Uh, you know what? Let's rebuild this area because everything else is a core. That'd be good to do this, so. Love it. That's why I like to do reconstruction. Get more cores, get put down a lot of resistance. I oh, love it, love it, love it. It's only 35 days to do this one too. That's like really nice. The German Socialist Republic is looking really great. And this guy's hair, wow. Oh, Spain is still on fire. Um, we don't like them. Carlos, we're kind of okay with. How many volunteers? Two divisions, huh? Oh wait, what the heck? No, what? No. No, I said. Give me this. Oh my goodness. I just want one division, man. Ten, send the text. Uh, send the Dixie division. Hopefully, we can send volunteers. We can still help the Carlists. Well, we don't really care for much monarchists around here. We definitely don't want to help the Cynicalists. So, send some volunteers. Great. How many planes can we send? Do they even have an airbase? Yeah, they do. Uh, 40. Yep, kept you down to 40 then. It's not very American if we don't get involved in other conflicts. Actually, you're closer to support with of you. Very nice. There you go. Help him out. You guys looking not too bad. Look at that. Beautiful. One, two. Thank you. I always say thank you. Well, only people deserve it. Only they deserve it. Oh, wait. We sent two divisions. What? Wait, hold on. Did I not send? I thought I sent you guys. Oh, maybe I sent the two infantry divisions. My bad. Oh well, whatever. Whatever. Tactical bombers, fighters, you guys, come on over here. Muscat join the Entente. Well, they're going to be the mighty Muscat warriors. Oh, do we make? Nice cruiser hold. Nice, very good. South Carolina class. So be it. Not bad. Not bad. And as you can tell, this video is uh, fairly long, just because even though I don't like making long videos, or super long videos, at, at this point, for this campaign, we kind of make them long. I've sent the wrong division over here. But, oh, well, Mosey can do a good job regardless. Um, actually, I want you guys doing this. We could actually break these guys out, maybe. We could try that. And how are the fighters doing? We're going to get a lot of air XP. God, I wish we had four research slots. I really wish we did. Going to do that since we have nothing else to do with our command power. And 40 combo with infantry. 
No problem over here doing that. We have motorized recon. If yeah, we don't believe in that. We don't believe in that either. Anymore, at least. Oh, they died. Oh, well, whatever. If I replace them with this, we would have enough tanks. Yeah, go ahead. So, gives a slight amount of armor. Two sisters is gone. Man, you know it's bad when the cyniclists or whoever. Actually, this is beautiful. I love this so much. I love that the Belgium is gone. I'm sorry, Taki Senpai, but this just makes it look right. Even though I kind of prefer that the the Germans would own this. Eh, I don't know. It's not bad. It's not bad. I kind of like this. I like these boards much better than before. Military factories, even more stuff? Yes, military factories. Munitions factories and armaments reported a large loss of stock to the theft, as well as difficulty competing with foreign competition. We can fix the first without infringing on the Second Amendment with a tariff on imported arms. Oh man, but how am I going to get my Spanish Turkish pistols? Not saying I have any, but how am I supposed to afford them now? Hey, there you go. They encircle our divisions, or our allies' divisions, we'll circle them. Well, bad word. Of course. Of course. Three days left for Disperse Industry. Not bad, Arenos. Alright, guys. You looking good? Go on, help them out. How's the Civil War going on in 1942? But Happy New Year, everyone. Hope you're having a great 1942. It's going to be a great year for all of us. Oh, this game is lagging so hard. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, so hopefully the game is still recording. I can't tell right now, so... Hopefully it's still recording. So, just in case... It's still recording. I'm just hoping it is. Let's grab some more research. That'd be great. Advanced computing machine. And still nothing really here. We're still making some more medium tanks. I love it. A little bit more lag, probably because someone is probably trying to come on out. Help them out, both of you divisions. 40 combat width against Spanish divisions. Probably not going to hold up. And what's going on? I could have sent more volunteers, but I don't really care. Yeah, we got to get, we got to go to partial mobilization if possible. Um, well, both of you guys can come here because you can. Just beat them up. I'm just sending divisions to beat people up. God, it feels good being American. There you go. Suicide pills, just in case. Tasty, tasty. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah, we did it before on the front line. That's right. That's all right. Thank you. So demobilizing, which isn't very ideal, but whatever. Big old armies. Love them. If they ain't big, why should we have them? There you go. Actually, how strong is Carlos Spain still? Let's see, 38,000, 40,000 manpower. You guys have 634. It's eh, actually pretty equal for the most part. Of course, Carlos Spain ain't looking too good, but that's alright. Well, maybe try an encirclement. Let's see, attack the Red Guard cells. Do some Red Guard cells around here? Mob activity. Jim Crow. Minor social resistance. How do we still have that? That's terrible. Absolutely terrible. If you could push up that way, that'd be awesome. Immediately get attacked, whatever. You guys go up that way, good luck. Uh, you know what, you just hold for now. It's alright, just hold. If you want, we can actually push these guys out. Yeah, beat them up. I'm just here to beat them up. Very nice, very nice. Going to have advanced carrier hull soon enough, which I love, love, love. Factories will be done in less than 20 days. Very awesome. Very, very awesome. Let these guys get out of here first and we'll hop out attacking here. Thank you. Alright, you want to help out? So be it. Let's do it. And... Nine days left. After that one, it is 42. Uh, so... Hmm. Subs are not bad. I love subs. Anti-air? Is there any more... Oh, we should probably grab some of this, too. Yeah, we could probably use some anti-air. I like improve. It's and that's less than, you know, a month. It's about a month long for this. That's not too bad. Technology, oof. And, boomerinos. Focus. Plastic explosives. If they're not plastic, I don't like them. All right. After that, let's go in and do punish corrupt and treacherous. Natural Farm Bureau. Let's do loosen regulations first. The dual layer federal government system had allowed for at times very loose regulations on workplace practice depending on the state. In order to leverage this inherent balance in our government, we must allow businesses, both large and small, to thrive. 
more consumer goods for us, better construction speed, cap, base, output. Cool, and I will be right back. All right, everyone, so here we are. And uh, we've I've just played a little bit more off screen just because nothing else really happened. But we did finish our focus and it's time for another one. Ooh, economic aftermath of the Civil War will be gone. As a nation, America lost a great deal of its labor supply to fighting in the poverty of the disorganized Federalists. The leaders pushed an executive order authorizing the creation of an agency to employ manual laborers to fill out spaces and employment for NRA projects. And also, we've, we've begun doing rebuilding the steel belt, which will be very, very good for us. And we're protecting the Red Guard cells. And we're just trying to help out in the Spanish Civil War, which is a lot of fun. I like it. I like helping out in Civil Wars. And Italy's, of course, here. And Russian... Wow, that's the biggest Yugoslavia I think I've ever seen. Holy bad words. Turkish state, not bad. Yeah, this is turning into a definite Cold War between syndicalists and the left-wing allies and then national populists, Moscow Accords. I'm just looking if there's any other way for us to give one piece of territory to the Moscow Accords just because... Why is Lithuania like that? What the heck? Or that part of Gumbin and... Just because I don't like to see this. I'm sorry. I, 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 mm, oh, wait. Control, shift. No, it doesn't work. I can't give this state... Ah! I can't give this state... To, 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 why does it look like that? Why? No! It's so ugly. You can probably break over the river there. Uh, and you... How about right there? We want to say this one militia division. It's not worth a whole lot, but it doesn't really matter. Help them out. That'll be good. For the good of the country. Get that militia out. Oh, don't you dare start doing that type of garbage towards us, son. We're going to come in and storm, take, take you by storm. Just beat him up. There you go. Beat him up. There you go. Now there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of holes down here, but whatever. It's fine. Head down that way. They might try to encircle us, but we'll encircle them in return. Oh, good. We got our uh, operative rescued. Thank you. Go ahead and go back here. Both of you go and do this stuff. Very good. 39% stability. Not great, but not bad. Oh, look. Socialist militias finished. The socialist militias of, as of any sort of force capable of stalling the economy of fighting your supporters is finished. Well, there will always be a handful of fanatical reds willing to die for the cause. It nonetheless appears that these extremists are finished as a large-scale threat to the joy of our supporters. Very nice. Come on, get over here. And then go up this way. Quickly. Good. Circle and destroy. Update equipment. Uh, we also got the carrier out as well. Oh, actually, there's another tower right there, huh? Good. Oh, we got into it. That's not good. Oh, come on. Seriously? Oh, this, these Spanish folk are going to have to go bye-bye. Uh, we did well here. Oh, Germany East Asia must be dying. Well, we'll trade with the Empire of Japan then. It's fine with me. Don't really care. Both of you attack right here. Kill every single one of them off. Good, good, good. Suriname is gone. I'm not sure how good that is, but whatever. You guys head down here. Interrogation techniques. Psychological warfare, or whatever it was called. I didn't want to read that one. I just click on buttons, man. I click on so many buttons, and that's how we got national populists elected. True story. Very, very good. Hey, let's get one political power every day. That's not too bad, actually. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm not saying that these Spanish folk are going to be our allies, but they could be. Maybe someday. Not opposed to a Spanish ally. There you go. Send all the material in this way. Blow them up. I can go kaboom. Thank you. Well, propaganda would be nice. And six days left. And research is coming along nicely. The Red Pope. How terrible. Oh my goodness. After this, though, agricultural exports. Yeah, wh oh, why not? Oh, actually, no. Let's let's finally punch the corrupt and treacherous. Congress has sided with us in condemning these companies that betrayed the American people. Lists of major shareholders and traders' companies have been seized, and the executive officers of these companies that have exploited workers behind the facade of government are now on trial. And that's exactly what they deserve for betraying America and the election system. Very good. Because Murray was illegally ousted, and then we had another election, and then we <clears throat> did stuff to make sure that we went down a certain route. Because I like clicking on buttons. Very nice, very nice. Actually, we just come over here and take Seville. We might just be able to do that. Probably won't be easy. 
but that's all right. Yep, well, since we arrived, we've been really helping out the Carlos Spanish. Gibraltar? Gibraltar's got to go. Cadez? Very nice. Very, very good. They attack us, so it makes it e easier for us to kill them. Beautiful. Gibraltar will be ours. Or, or our puppets, or whoever this is. Uh, South Africa. Alright, Cuba. I love Cuba. I love them so much we might add them to our own empire. And we're building a lot of refineries, too. Ball Gibraltar. Good job, guys. Great job. Next up, we gotta beat them reds. We beat them once in America, we'll beat them in Spain. Or Iberia. No more reds. Rebuild. South Atlantic States. I'm gonna like that. But, let's rebuild the Pacific Coast. Just because I want all of California done. And that was one of the major last enemies we had to fight. So... Not bad. All right, you guys are not looking too bad. Head on down here if you can. Psychological warfare. It wasn't physiological warfare. That'd be kind of that'd be kind of weird. Oh. All right, so be it. Tear them asunder. You're just militia men, so you guys head on down there too. And then Car Cartagena, Cartagena. I don't know, something like that. Research in a few days. We got more dispersed fighting, which is good because we're still getting even more air XP. As you can tell, I'm really trying to rush for another research slot. And then we'll get involved with taking other people out. The wizard's heart attack. Oh, no! Earlier today, w William J. Simmons suffered a heart attack be after being found screaming for help from his room. Advisors were not sure what to do as Simmons had ordered him not to tell any, uh, any other underlings. Eventually, they had a doctor from the nearest town come to Simmons' aid. By the time he arrived, Simmons' condition deteriorated enough that a lack of oxygen to his brain placed him in a coma. With the NDWL not having a secure disposition over the Republic or its own unity, they're desperate to cover up his death, but the old Democrats are re reasserting their themselves. The lack of the clear success has left the military with little choice but to assume direct control under old Democrat George Patton, who has given a speech commending Simmons for his defense of the Republic and a promise to ensure its continued victory at all costs. Patton's control. Oh my goodness. Whoa! Uh, okay, so. I'm not really sh This is the same thing, but something a little different. But my apologies, my I will be right back once again. My apologies about that, but someone. You know, called me. But anyways, uh, so we have Simmons suffered a heart attack after being found extremely for help from his room. No one was sure what to do. Uh, they then had a doctor come from the nearest town to help him out. By the time he arrived, Simmons' condition had deteriorated enough that a lack of oxygen to his brain placed him in a coma. Meanwhile, insiders of each major faction in the White League had clearly given away what was happening to their leader as Stevenson entered the room wailing, wondering how the American Emperor could pass in his prime only discovered that Simmons was still breathing to his obvious surprise. While Stevenson was dismissing the staff, Hiram Wesley Evans showed up to the scene and an intense standoff ensued or insured as each wondered what to do. Evans went to contact his clan connections in the South and his military while D.C. Stevenson left to start to alert his old clan allies. Finally, Christian identity leader and fellow NDWL leader Herbert W. Armstrong entered the building offering to pray for Simmons, but neither Stevenson nor Evans were interested in giving the black sheep of the NDWL full access to the American Emperor. With all three major players here now, no one is certain what, the follows will be, what follows will be peaceful, least of all General Patton, who was forced to watch all this. Well, bad words. Well, Okay, old blood and guts. Very nice. Oh, there goes welfare. Huh. Oh, we were trying to go down this way. Oh, wait. Is there an amount of time that we can do this? Um. Man, we're switching things up so fast here. Holy cow. I guess we can do old blood and guts. Speaking of VP. Nationalist restoration. Uh. Well, okay then. I'm not really sure what to say, except that this is this is getting very weird. At this point, I think that's enough of that for now. Actually, for you guys. 40 combat widths. Nice. Now train two at a time. That'd be good. And... Boom. Yeah, this is definitely... I was not expecting this. I was expecting that we are going to hang on that entire time, but... Can we still get national... We're still national populists. Except for a heart attack. Maybe they'll come back, maybe? I, I don't know. Hmm. Let's get, let's get some better medium tanks, too. That'll be good. Very, very nice. Are we still demobilizing some? Yes, we are. 
Evanson allies Effinger. Stevenson allies Effinger. DC Stevenson, Grand Dragon of the Indiana Clan and generally overseer of the Mid East. White Leagues is merely created an alliance with the Black Legion led by Virgil Effinger. A right wing vanguardist group in the Steel Belt that broke off from the Clan to promote even more extreme violence and terrorist action. Effinger's position as a White League leader gives him control over several old Democrat boats in his region as well as an important intelligence operator. In response, Sarah Wesley Evans has asked James Colescott for an alliance to counteract this while Herbert W. Armstrong has turned to Christian fundamentalist Gerald B. Winrob by inviting him to be an elder of Zion if he shares further towards Christian identity. The informal factions that have been long present but are finally boiling down to the surface are now between Evans' so-called young clan, Stevenson's old clan, and finally Armstrong's holy church of Zion. The military watch is on only hoping that they can keep an outright civil war from occurring. Well, this ain't good. This is so weird. What the heck? How can you have a... Black Legion and... Oh, the, the Triple K? What? How does that even work? Isn't that what, what they were trying to get rid of? Man, I don't even know at this point. This is so weird. But it's kind of enjoyable. Build even more refineries so that we don't have to trade away our uh, civilian factories. A little better. Intelligence services. DC Stevenson's approach patent in offer to get the Black Legion under more direct com command of the military, and with it, the intelligence services they command, especially around the area of Detroit. This intel could be of great value in such bloody times, especially as the area has such a fondness for cynicalism, and bringing the rabid Black Legion under greater control will be helpful for the military class. Nevertheless, he's well aware of why this offer has truly come up that in that DC Stevenson desires closer ties with the military via his ally Effinger, and as such, accepting would greatly empower Stevenson, something Hiram Evans has tried to frantically warn a patent about. The general way is his options. I don't think so. That's good for the people, so so be it. Who's even leading what, where, when? Authoritarian Democrats. Murray still in the paternal autocrats. Simon Simmons? Um. Do we want Stevenson to do stuff? Old Clan Victory. That's old stuff. Erase the young clan. I guess I have to be national populist for this to happen. Oh, they still have to be national populist as well. I don't even know, man. What do we want to end up? The Birth of a Nation? It's not like the... That's a movie, isn't it? Clan Cinema? Marshals of the Red Shirt. Cooperation from afar. Liberia Plan. Ceasefire with Black Militants? Legion Chiefs? Oh, man. Cuban Goods. A Golden Circle? Ooh. Intercept Refugees? Oh, man. Or the Lord. I kind of like the Lord Path. The Holy Church of Zion sounds like a lot of fun. The Apostle Christ. But it seems kind of strange, strange going down this way. So I kind of want to go with the old, old version to see what happens. So, And we need Stevenson to be a country leader. I guess at this point, this is so weird, man. It's so weird. I just want to beat up other people in their civil wars. That's all I want to do. Very nice. Punisher Corrupt and Treacherous. Might as well. Shouldn't have finished all the clans up earlier, but whatever. So, all right, Simmons. I didn't know Simmons was going to have a heart attack. So if I ever play this again and we get Simmons back, good to know he's going to have a little heart issue. Advanced competing machines. Nice. Let's grab some radar, finally. Fall of Barcelona. Localized training centers. Good. We can kill that militia division off. Oh, we're done here. Nice. Help him out. Actually, that was a really bad idea for me. Uh, head on up this way. So that still wasn't enough to capitulate them, huh? Oh, yeah, it was. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, what other wars are occurring right now in the world? Oh, Evans was killed. Today, he was receiving a haircut. Three men walked in and struck down Evans with knives after his bodyguards seeming became absent. Killing him on the spot. Less than 20 minutes later, Herbert a W. Armstrong, who had been called out to a meeting with Winrod, witnessed as his driver got out in the middle of a seemingly empty crossroads when three men hiding walked down and opened fire, killing his bodyguard instantly. According to the driver, who claimed to have merely exited the vehicle to relieve himself, a wounded Armstrong crawled out of the car and lived long enough to frantically beg for mercy while offering them money before the men fired upon them. D.C. Stevenson has given a speech over radio claiming that the Armstrong had been ordered the death of Evans and Evans' men had retaliated, making sure to leave out the near impossible time frame and the circumstances of the latter's demise. He then called on the old Democrats and NDWL to finally vote on the new leader of the White League for the good of the nation and ensure their loyalty to the memory of Evans and against Armstrong's plot. And of course, since few are willing to openly vote against him, this makes D.C. Stevenson the new American Emperor of the NDWL and President of the United States. I hope, suppose he won. I... <sighs> we got young clan resistance. Holy bad words. Princely Federation. 
I guess we'll help them next. Why not? And... Wow, he looks weird. Terror of the Midwest? What? <laughs> wow. I'm not... Oh, wow. Look at that political power. It's so bad right now. Holy cow. Holy cow. We're going to need some more dockyards, too. All right. Well, we punish these guys. I really wish we finished this up over here. Um, it's not like... Oh, wait. We can still do it. Oh, we're still national populace. Great. Great. Laws, huh? Clan Oath? Defend these people? Um, I guess we have to do Old Clan Victory. We could have taken that, but whatever. I just want to research a lot. Take the fight abroad? Uh, sure. Let's get some trials going. With the victory at home, we now have time to take the fight to whoever shore we need to take, to whoever mountain we have to cross, and whatever flow we need to face. That seems like the right idea to do. How are our planes now, actually? We should have plenty of planes good and ready to go, right? Two more fighters. Go and duplicate these two. There you go. Two more. Very nice. And more tactical bombers, please. Naval bombers are nice. Actually, we probably should trick in a few naval bombers, too. Very good. Let's go and grab some more artillery, too. We don't be using outdated stuff, do we? No, we don't. Especially ships. Oof. Medium tanks. We're going to need way more of those. Alright. Looking not too bad. Six more guys here. Not bad. Not bad. Go and train as well. Because you might as well. Can we help out the Princely Federation? I'll help out whoever wants to get helped out. So, um, Well, I'm already used to sending these guys. So we might as well. Very good. Very good. Where's our 40 stack? Illinois. There they are. Puerto Rico. How many guys can we send over? Oh, that's, that's more than what I'm used to. Oof. Nice. Very good, very good, very good. And they'll be down here soon enough. I guess it takes time to go from, like, what is it, Illinois or Puerto Rico? I thought it was Illinois for some reason. Puerto Rico all the way down here. There they are. They're flying over Southern Arabia. And they're there. Great. Head on up there and do that area. Very good. And our divisions actually arrived too. Not bad. Uh, since we're already using you guys, I'll send one of you guys. You gotta stop doing that. Mm -hmm. You guys head on over there too. Planes. Got any more tactical bombers to duplicate that? Thank you. I'm going to send these guys over to when they're ready to go to help on out. Because we can. Because we care. There you go. Alright, where are you guys at? North American section, huh? Alright, so these guys are helping out all over the place. These guys are kind of hurting. I would rather help out here, actually. Alright, not bad. Even more refineries, yes please. Chromium would be nice. Take the fight abroad. Military research. Oh, we should have done this one earlier. After so many decades of isolation, the devastation of the Civil War, our nation lacks capacity for military research and development of other great powers of the world. Let's begin to remedy this unfortunate reality. Not bad. Oh, look at what's that? Oh, resistance, yeah. Oh, well, we just sent them. Are they done? Are they still fighting? Oh, they must still be fighting somebody then. Oh no. I mean, subs aren't bad. But at this point, I'd rather research sub threes, so. Grab some of that, and then grab some more carriers, maybe. Okay, so they ended their hostilities, that's fine, whatever. Whoa. What the heck? Oh, that's disgusting. Why doesn't the Street Transfer Tool mod work right now? Oh, our guys are coming back. Alright, whatever. Oh, we have a carrier out. Look at that. Nice! Beautiful. Even though that carrier specifically isn't that great, but whatever. Head on down here, because that's a little bit too filled up right now. Very good. Get these guys up to 100 as well. Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago. 
Organerinos. Bernas. No. Gonna duplicate all those guys. It's fine. Uh, we'd have an extra planes, huh? That sucks. It's alright, though. It's alright. Six. Wait. Um. It has been over for a while, I thought, but whatever. We have Technies Nice. I do like developing more of this stuff. Sub holes. Snorkels are okay. Get more subs. South Carolina class, so you take forever to finish, don't you? We can develop a few more military factories too, that's fine. Oh, there goes those guys. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, let's go ahead and rebuild the South. Because we love the South. Wow, that manpower is not looking good. Are we still doing over a point nine percent? We still have Jim Crow, political map, aftermath of the Civil War, and Young Clan resistance. Makes sense. After this, increased military spending. No, no, no. Eh, I mean, this is not bad for more military factory construction, but still. Back on the world stage. Eh, we could probably do that actually really, really, pretty darn soon. Let's do agricultural experts. Farmers in our nation have been damaged by war, yes, but before that, they were damaged by tariffs that made it difficult to export them. Um, Export farm goods. Lifting trade and, and trade restrictions, negotiating lower tariffs with other nations will help give up some more income. Trial of the Federalist Generals. With the Civil War now over and our enemies at our mercy, the army has finally begun the trials against the Federalist Generals. While some generals have fled in exile, the generals who are caught are now waiting for the verdict of the military tribunal. You know, however, despite what the public believes, it's not as easy to carry out the trials as it was originally anticipated. Most trial generals don't have any particular record of unnecessary violence, even those who, that can still claim they were following orders. Among them, the most controversial one so far is Dwight Eisenhower. During the trials, Patton has set the government a list of high-ranking individuals who he thinks are worthy and capable enough for rehabilitation. With ample evidence, exonerating main, mainly Eisenhower and Bradley as cases of due obedience. While some of the captured generals have sworn to quit, even if they're forgiven, so long as we commit to defending the ideals America stands for, but in the end, the final decision rests with the jury. Spare them, discharge them, exile. Yep, that's the way we gotta go with these with the people we've chosen so far. Artillery's coming along, tanks coming along as well. We even got 1941 tanks, which is not bad. It was the military police, too. That's pretty necessary for what we need. Anything else here? Not really. Nope. There you go. Share the wealth of dockyards. Good. We have more political power, too. Good. Recruit artillery. Let's grab the next level of artillery as well. Thank you. I mean, army's not looking bad at all. It's looking pretty, pretty nice, I'd say. You guys looking not too bad either. Even though the Dixie Division, y'all can head over there. Have a good time. I'll have you guys face down the Mexicans. Which means we're going to have to go to war with the 3rd International. I think I'd rather take out the 3rd International first than deal with the Entente. Because we might be able to pull in the Moscow Accord to fight them off too. If that's possible, then that'd be great. Maybe we should have helped out these guys. Then again, we can't send them. They've already capitulated. Never mind. Never mind. What can we do with these people? Make resistance contacts, prepare collaboration government, trial the Pacific generals. It's basically the same things now. It's with Generals Marshall and DeWitt. It's 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 exile time. There's not there's not just I'm not even gonna bother with it. It's just exile time. Cool. Partial mobilization, yes please. Great, look at all this construction. Love it. Here in Puerto Rico is getting built up. And Alaska. We need to get Hawaii back too. I'm not sure how we're gonna do that, but we will. We will eventually. Build some radar down there, build some radar down there, that'd be good. Build some radar near Mexico. And in the northeast as well. In all corners. And even maybe Michigan and one of the Dakotas. Probably North Dakota. There you go. Good, good stuff, my friends. We are, as some might say, the awesome of democracy. More light tanks, motorized will be fine. Uh, get that even higher. Iran, declare war in Afghanistan, whatever. Nine days left. Eh, we'll do this one first. Now, if you guys want to. Uh, you guys are actually pretty darn experienced. We don't need to train you guys anymore. This is disgusting. Soldiers, why are they going down there? Oh, my goodness. Well, oh, actually, we can help you guys out again. Might as well, right? There we go. All right, send some planes over, boys and girls. Are we back over here? Fighter wings. That's not bad. I don't mind sending 
That's many right. That'll be all right. And someone over here is doing stuff. That could be bombed. Oh, yeah, it's a little far away for you to do that. I'm gonna go duplicate you though. That's all right. And uh, Mongolia was annex. Oh, Mongolia's gone. Thank you. Hood, nice. And it's almost 43, getting closer. Do we, we already finished our land auction, which is great, great, great. Let's get some better planes, actually. Got all this air XP and blueprints and such. We must get rid of that. So, agricultural experts, and I still want to get reconstruction over, so. Tibet is gone. Goodbye, Tibet. Civilian factories. Let's grab some more civilian factories. Our farmers need a more efficient means of communicating their needs to the government and vice versa. We will create and encourage membership in the National Farm Bureau to more easily co coordinate with them. Which will be a very, very good thing. We're still maxed out on a lot of this. Almost maxed out. We're not quite maxed out, but that's fine with me. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Not enough factories, but, you know, what else is new? Oh, the Japanese are helping out here. Ah, do we like the Japanese? What, what, uh, ideology are they? Hey, we do like the Japanese. Oh, Japan, you're doing a great job. Now, this is nice. The Republic of China, they're actually unifying. This is... Oh, under Feng Chen, of course. Mosley, you got your job back. Are these guys attacking or getting attacked? Oh, they're attacking. That might not be the best place to send them, then. Uh, let's send them up here, actually. Oh, maybe not. There's a lot of supply issues. We need to get some logistics companies, too, as well. That'd be good. Supply-wise, we're just missing planes and tanks. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, better medium tanks. That's right. Artillery pizza's looking pretty good. We can lower that by maybe that much. Getting more tanks online, which is great. Throw on some more light tanks and then some more planes. That would be awesome, awesome. Gun-wise, we're still doing more than fine. South Atlantic states, yeah. That'd be good. We could do stuff here, but... I'm not too interested in the Canadian stuff right now. And we'll have some more advanced sub hulls. Thank goodness. Actually, how's our ships looking? Not bad. Uh, I mean, Halsey is doing an okay job. I mean, not like he's at war or anything. He's got two dreadnoughts there, one, two dreadnoughts, and then one carrier. I'm liking what we got. I really am. Actually, maybe we should upgrade these guys. Light ships. Yeah, I forgot about these guys. Um, doesn't look like we really got much here to upgrade, though. There you go. Should have realized this before, but whatever. Better anti-air, no. Alright. Not that much better stuff that we can do. One. Okay, just one more. That's not bad. Pretty good, I'd say. Alright, so our guys are here. They're doing okay. Uh, can we actually attack and win here? Yeah, we actually might be able to. And yeah, we must be getting a lot more air XP up here, right? Oh, yeah. Do that Northern India. Oh, do you not have orders? There you go, you should be doing quite a bit of damage. Advanced sub hulls, very nice. I'm gonna wait to grab this one, maybe, unless we go to get sub threes. I can't remember. It's a little bit too ahead of time. Hmm. Oh, unless there's something else. Oh, let's grab this one. Magnet, detonator, that's, that's right with me. Enough. Naval XP. Yes, please. Yes, oh, so yes. We were, so we're doing pretty well with these guys then. We, need, we actually need to get some radar. Holy crud. We definitely need to get some radar. Two things on subs. Goodbye. Nice. We'll get those done eventually. Hey, we actually expanded the line a little bit more. Nice. Not bad. Maybe not really worth it, but we did it because we can. Getting even more experience for General Simon Bolivar Buckner Jr. Are they? Yeah, they are attacking. Oh, big sad. Oh, they're actually pushing through here quite well, actually. Supply-wise, it looks in, it's looking not great. Hmm. We'll see. Can you guys actually help out, maybe, and do well? There. Oh, it's over a river? Hollywood list. We know that Hollywood is always active by the law of its mere existence in California and attempt to dodge intellectual property laws. Moreover, it is no secret that some artists have hoped for a cynical victory over a great American republic. Their folly must be exposed and the sedition prosecuted. We'll film their trials. Very good. Now, if you guys attack here, could you guys actually win? Oh, they can pierce, our, pierce us, which kind of sucks, but whatever. No, you can't actually win. It's fine, whatever. I want you to help out in the north. This is not going to look good for us, but whatever. And if there's too much 
supply problems, then we'll leave and do something else. Alright, and then we're going to do building grants. Smaller townships across America have no recourse if their need is slightly less than the threshold for contract work. Our remedy is a building grant program based off the Ford Foundation. This allows communities to show proper need and return on investment for contract work. Now they're going to be attacking and hopefully we'll be able to defend very well. Old dudes, huh? Now, where are you guys at? Oh, you're still moving. So, whatever. Alright. That's, that's... Oh, God. Why is the Russian state taking all that? Ugh. Why do they got to make it look disgusting? Not bad. Do we have any dreadnoughts? Yes, we do. I'm going to throw them actually here just because a carrier and a dreadnought in the same task force is very nice. How is our rest of our army looking? Not bad. Maybe they could train a little bit more? No? Okay. Oh, it's probably because we're out of tanks. That's what's up. Yeah, we're still out of tanks. we got to make more tanks. But we're making more military factories, so that's all that matters. More tanks, more planes, more everything like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go up and do that. There you go. Go up to 10. That'd be fine with me. Two days left. Air Cobra. So that we can get some better carrier fighters. And better tactical bombers, too. Happy 1943, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Oh, we're out of manpower. Oh, well, that's not good. So we do this, reconstruction is over. Uh, create some of that. Where can we get more manpower? Old clan victory. This focus will eventually be automatically bypass and unlock the other focuses. Well, if that's the okay, case, then we don't have to do it, right? Black Legion, huh? Well, get some manpower down there. Young clan resistance. Definitely want to get rid of that. Cult of the Chief. Church of the Fiery Cross. Protocols of Zion. Alright, not bad, not bad. Christian ID identity. Alright, cool. Bonus for land doctrine, which is kind of worthless at this point. Military factories, weapons. Um, oh, can we do some more? No, we cannot. Because I'm just looking that we have some resistance here in some areas. Which... Where are we getting resistance? Oh, the US of A. Oh, because... Wait, what? How do we have resistance around here? Um, not really sure, but okay. Probably need to raise the conscription level, too. Might as well, right? Military police, just in time. Let's grab some more, but I would really like logistic companies, too. Alright. Garrisons. Cavalry divisions, thank you. Actually, we should be making some armored cars. What am I up to? Not armored cars? We need armored cars. It's almost 44. This could be a waste of air uh, air XP. Uh, you know, we'll do it anyways. We're, we're using them anyways. One, two, three. One, two, three. Not bad. A lot of bonuses. It's 43. We might as well get this one then. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting attacked by a crazy. And everyone's using that. Yep, they're using that one, which is great. Building grants. Hmm. Works of America, not bad. Ambitions of the state. You get more manpower that way. Just for mobilizing a little bit more, though. That's kind of nice. Rural electrification. Let's do that one. Electricity network uh, throughout the country is regressed to that of the 1910s. This is an American. We need to ensure that our constituents can properly be informed about our nation's glory. Which would be very, very nice. Very, very good. Now, oh, actually, I don't mind extending you up this way. They're still attacking. I don't care where it's happening. Just keep defending if you need to. That's all I care about. Just keep defending if you need to. He's going to become a trickster, too, which is going to be very nice. Only one bloody war. How many men have been killed? But after this, we'll check on that. Um, more suppression, I suppose, for now. And we got that one done. Let's grab some better bombers. Yes. Carrier fighters. Oh, our planes were uh, forced to go up here, huh? Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. So that's the case. I will send you home to here. And actually, I'll cut you in half. There you go. That's all better. That should help out. 
Yeah, the Prince of Federation is still my dog, because they're not doing that well against these guys. Casualties. That's a lot of dead. That's a lot of dead as well. Holy cow. Of course, with us here, I mean, we can help out the line quite a bit, but still. I'm a little, over, a little worried about these guys up here, because they're slowly retreating. Still got to rebuild more, more. We're still mobilizing more, which is nice. 30 more days for, left for that one. That's fine. Oh, oh, you, they actually broke over. That's not good. Yeah, I think the Prince of Federation is not going to do well. What is Russia up to, actually? Protected Kayutsha? Hopefully they go to War of the Reds. They usually end up doing that, so which is pretty nice. Oh, man. It's craziness. Oh, we do have some. We do have some armored cards. We're making some armored cards. It's kind of nice, actually. So, what if we do this? How would that affect? So we have twenty-one hundred. Now we're down to twenty-one hundred, two thousand. Well, might as well max it out, right? I really wish it was a faster way to get them all down here. That's alright. And I know we're still mobilizing. Maybe we should cut off some of the divisions that we're making, but it'll be alright. Oh, they joined the Entente. That's a bad idea for those guys. Um, yeah, we're done mobilizing. Holy crud. Of course, then again, effective total manpower is not very good. We gotta get rid of that clan resistance as well. Cool. Nice. That really didn't hurt us at all. Oh, we actually have tanks. Look at that. We actually have tanks. That's okay. So we can cut this off. Cut this off a little bit more. That's fine. Whatever. All right. Let's go and rebuild the Rocky Mountain states because we can. We're electrification. Awesome. Reconstructions over the course of reconstructions revealed the true ideological basis for why Hoover was able, unable to fix the economy. The why the constituents of these windbags have largely voted them out by now as the GDP rises and the American standard of living rises and even exceeds pre-war levels. Thank goodness. Thank, thank goodness. I'll go and help on up there. Head on over there, too. That'd be good. Wow, we just got rid of some of that, and then we lose some more. Wow. That sucks. So after that, we're going to grab National Education Administration, do old clan victory, and then erase the young clan. That'd be very nice. And I know this video is very long, just like the last one. But I want to get through... I want to make less videos, but I don't mind if they're a little longer. At this point, we might as well grab a few hospitals, because every man's going to be precious. Holy crud. Alright, uh, he's still learning? Still becoming a skilled staffer? How is Mosley doing? Is he learning anything? An organizer? Stuff like that? Uh, I kind of want to help you guys in, in assistant and in assist your attacks, but still. So, do we still have too many guys here? 240, huh? Uh... Cut you guys, go home. You hold. Go home. Eh, that's... It'll be alright. Oh! Oh, God, no. Spain, why did you join the Entente? Oh, you should've just joined the Russians. Big sadness, man. Big, big ol' sadness. Reconstruction is over. Beautiful. Got a week left for that one. Not too bad. We've got our soldiers down here, too. They're stretching themselves out pretty thinly. These guys are holding out as best they can. Oh, my goodness. And India's got a lot of manpower. Air oh, they're by Gandhi. Three million manpower. These guys have one million. I don't think manpower is really going to be the issue. But then again, it could be wrong. And we're out of manpower ourselves. It's not ideal. Okay, so after that one, we're probably going to go get some of these. Because I love the bombers. But we're going to need some Avengers. There we go. Oh yeah, we have some of this too, huh? So, alright, tactical bombers. We're not going to upgrade them for now, that's fine. How's their ships doing, actually? Five more, not bad. All screens, we'll throw them over here, because they're the smallest number for now. 
Oh, we have maxed out naval stuff, huh? You know what? Uh, let, let our guys train for now. That's fine. That is A-OK -okay with me. We got so many dockyards, too. Military factories are coming along very nicely. Let's see, planes still looking good. We still need more, a few more armored cars, a few more planes here and there. <sighs> Always need more medium tanks, man. Always need more. All right, not bad. Light tanks might not be bad either. Not bad, not bad. You know what? I really like. I'm not gonna say I really like that name, but I thought it was quite, quite interesting of y'all to, or at least someone to suggest that name. Not bad, not bad. Man, we're we're really making sure that we have, we can do whatever we need to when the war comes. But let's do one more focus first. Our reconstruction is over, my friends, and let's grab this. National Education Administration. In the wake of the collapse of the CSA, the National Education Association has folded and its members dispersed. With most teachers being apolitical, well, I don't know about that, and the union never never being able to exert much partisan power over them, it makes a strong candidate for rehabilitation by the new American government. I hope you enjoyed today's long video. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. When we'll continue restoring America, and we might see a little bit more of a conflict between us and other people. Thanks for watching. And have a great rest of your day. Wow, look at Africa and France.